Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this butterfly canvas blingy art, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty excited about this uh, painting today. And I will leave a complete list of everything that I'm using in my description box below. And as I'm um, putting everything onto the canvas, of course, I will point that out. But the two things that I'm pretty excited about today, uh, one is this new glitter that I found at um, Michael's. It's called Fairy Dust. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've just put some in um, one of these spice jars that I get from Dollarama. And I just put a little bit on the back of this white sheet of paper so you can see it. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's an iridescent color. And um, these are new. I found these at Dollarama for $2 a piece. I know that you can buy this um, on Amazon, but man, I was just so pumped when I saw these at Dollarama. And I'm going to be using these today as my frame. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is cut out some butterfly forms. And I just printed these off uh, in different sizes. And the easiest way to do butterflies is to, like this is the printed piece, right? Is to fold it in half so that when you're cutting, you're gonna have the same cut on, on this side. So this little antenna, we're going to have to deal with that later, but for the first thing that I'm going to do is just cut out my little butterfly here. And I know that I only want one bigger one in the center, and I'm going to need um, some of the, the medium size, a couple of the medium size, and then um, a couple of the small ones. Okay, you guys, so for my butterfly design, I ended up cutting one of the larger ones and three medium and then three of the smaller. So I've got them all cut out and I want to make them into one big template. So I'm just going to tape them all together so, because I like this design, right? So I don't want them to move on me. So that's all there is to that. And it's really quite simple. It just takes a little time and really this didn't take much time at all to do. And I'm using this wicker white. It's a shiny brilliant because I want this to shine. This particular canvas, I want to shine. I have a little bit left um, in this. Tube. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I'm just using, I think this is probably a two, two and a half inch flat brush. And I just want to get it uh, painted. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And now I want to add some of my favorite bright silver into the mix here. And <clears throat> what I wanna do is just add a little bit in the middle so that it just kind of 
uh, comes up through my butterflies, right? Down and up. So I'm just going to add just a bit of this to my plate. I'm going to add a little bit of the white. I'm going to start with a dry brush. I'm not going to wet this brush. Um, this is probably two inch flat brush. I'm just going to dip the paint into both. And I'm going to start probably around in the middle here. Just go up a little bit. But again, I'm adding a little bit of silver and white into my brush. I'm going to come down this way. I want this to be very, very subtle. Kind of dip both in the silver and the white. Okay, that's perfect. I'm just going to put my brush in a little bit of water there. So that's all I want for my paint color. Okay, my paint is all dry, and now we are going to outline our template on the canvas. So and you need to figure out where you want to put it. And then um, you're going to outline it. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape there so that it doesn't move while I draw it out. Just want to make sure that, yes, that is where I want it. Okay, so I have gone ahead and I've outlined my butterfly template. And now, I'm just going to remove it. I had, uh, we saw that I had put some tape on there. So I'm, I'm just going to fold that over. So now what I want to do, you guys, because I don't draw. <laughs> I, I just don't. So I want to remove... Um, unstick these pieces because now I want the separated um, butterflies so that I can get uh, the um, the actual shape of the butterfly um, now the 
the big butterfly, this one here, I want for sure be kind of the stir of the show here. So because the template was right, it was all taped together to get my outline. Now I need to fill in the gaps of where I want the ones to be in front of others. So my big one, I want to make sure that um, all of the little, I want to make sure that all of the little um, wings are showing. So now then that gives me an outline of this little guy like this. Okay, so he's fully front and center now. Okay, so see what I mean? When you then when you pull them apart, then we have something that we can work with um, for my silver glitter glue, right? Okay, so now it is time to outline my butterflies with the uh, silver glitter glue. And I'm just using my Elmer's glitter glue. I get this from Michael's. And I think I'm going to start over here. This isn't a perfect science, as you can see. I'm just going to kind of push it up a little bit for his head. And then down a little bit for his little tushy. Put some of my uh, Dollarama, the, just the dollar store, uh, that high gloss silver. And then it really makes the um, glitter glue pop, just gives it more shine, more glitter in it, right? That looks kind of neat, just like it is. <laughs> so there you guys. Isn't that gonna look neat? Yeah, that's gonna look really, really pretty. Very shiny. I almost forgot their little bodies. I was looking at it and I go, something, something is just missing. Something's not right. So I need to add, and that's okay with the glitter there because I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna be adding. So I'm just gonna add some little bodies here. And I know there's also the antennas, but I'm not 100% sure I want to do uh, the glitter glue for the antennas because um, it's just they're just going to get too thick. I'm going to have to come up with some other idea for those. Okay, you guys, now we're going to let that dry.
So our glitter glue is all dry. I usually just leave these overnight. Um, now I just want to brush the glitter off, the excess glitter. So now we are going to fill in our butterflies. So I'm just going to use um, Mod Podge. It doesn't matter what the finish is. I'm just going to use my mat. And the first thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit in my, whoops, in my cup here, because I am going to stir in some glitter. And this is Bling by Recollection. I'm just gonna stir some in here. I'm going to paint it inside my butterflies. So I've decided I'm going to introduce my favorite, favorite bling, right? This is that uh, silver, but it's also an iridescent, which is going to stay within my theme here. And you can also, I have these um, little sequins. They're also uh, an iridescent. And those also, you guys, if you wanted something bigger, like just put whatever on here. Or if you want um, to make one or two of these butterflies with just some pink glitter or a blue glitter, like the possibilities are endless with what you can do with this, right? So I am going to do my first butterfly here, my big one. I want to put a fair amount of Mod Podge on you guys um, so it doesn't dry out on you by the time you get the get the wings done and we're only going to do one butterfly at a time. Okay now I'm going to load this guy up because I don't want I don't want any um, any of the inside of the butterfly showing. So this is the silver. And I'm just going to load this guy up. There will be a lot of brush off, but that's okay. Um, I'll put it right back inside the, the jar. I just want to make sure, I'm trying to get it so that I can do this just once and not have to go back over it and add more Mod Podge and then more glitter, right? Especially um, with the chunkier glitter. I'd like to be able to just get this on. <laughs> and what I'll do is once it's once it's been sitting there for a little bit, uh, once the Mod Podge kind of gets uh, a little bit drier, I will use then just a plain sheet of white paper and press it down so that uh, it really adheres to that um, Mod Podge. Now we need a clean brush. This doesn't matter if it's out from the butterfly wings because I don't want, it's kind of like that stained glass dupe that I did a few videos back. You just want to clean out the areas that you're going to have a different glitter on. I'm going to use the Bling, it's called Bling Extra Fine Glitter. And I think I'm going to put some on this butterfly. I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. So we're going to add our bling extra fine and thing here to create a barrier. 
that. I mean, it wouldn't matter much if some of this got on to the bigger butterfly, but you know what? I'm just going to lightly place that like so, and then I don't have to worry about it. So we're going to load this extra fine glitter on here so that it completely covers this butterfly. Okay, I gotta turn him around so I can look at it the way I'll be hanging it. Now, this is the butterfly that I need to fix. And what I'm gonna have to do is come with my brush and make a point here and cover most of that um, that glitter glue. So let's see if I can achieve that. And this is where a pointy brush is going to come in handy. Yeah, that's going to do that. That'll fix that. Okay. Now, I want to try some of this. And this is the Fairy Dust by Spin It. I get Spin It at um, Michael's as well. And it's actually cheaper than the Recollections. Just kind of want to stay away from here. I can do this, that's okay. Now, this is going to get tricky. I think because there's so much of the um, extra fine glitter on that, I, there's no more Mod Podge exposed anyway. But I don't want, for sure, I don't want any of this, this stuff in that. That's just the glitter glue now that you're seeing there. Oh, this stuff is fantastic, you guys. Okay, we're going to really load this one up. So now... Okay, so my Mod Podge is all dry, and now we are going to get rid of all the excess glitter. our frame around the canvas with these rhinestone stickers. I found these at Dollarama for $2 a piece, which is a really good deal. Uh, what I like about these is that they're already cut into a really nice straight strip, and the strip is a really nice width for this frame. And I'm not going to put them all the way up to the edges. I'm going to actually start them um, right about where the rounded corner of my canvas starts. And then a little bit of that rounded corner is going to be exposed. Now before I go and 
stick these on before I press them on. I'm just going to make sure that they are on nice and straight. Can I just I'll try to get it so that my lighting uh, is shining right on that glitter? Okay, I'm almost deciding that I'm not going to bother with uh, little antennas. The outline of the butterflies is, is just beautiful. It, uh, I don't think it needs the little antennas and it might make it look a little bit busy. So I am going to call this done because it is just, um, it's just the right amount of bling. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. I am so pleased with the way this turned out. The shine from that iridescent glitter is fantastic. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna bring you in, like look at the different colors in that. And that's why I wanted to go with just the white shiny uh, paint and silver because I wanted these little butterflies to be the stars of the show, right? And boy, are they ever. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty, you guys. And then using the uh, rhinestone bling wrap for my frame. Oh, you guys, yes. Oh, I'm going to be doing some flowers. And more butterflies. I'm thinking now, um, I wish I would have brought, you know, those moths, the beautiful moths with the really long tails. I'm going to do something like that in the future. And this poor little guy, yeah, he's, he's different, but different is beautiful. So, yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll really help my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And always, always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch. And God bless.